watch on mobile devices or the big screen, all for free. No subscription required. Download Beely now. I see the damage that I've done. My body disgusts me. Fear has stopped me living, and I don't want to be like that anymore. At times, you really don't feel like you fit into the world. <laughs> For you to begin to heal, we have got to go through this. People visit because they're fed up. They run out of options. We change things up. We rock the boat. They're not too happy. No. Legs are hurting, struggling to breathe. We're thinking about one step at a time, and that's all we're doing. I'm not enjoying this at all. Honestly, I feel like I could puke. <laughs> I feel normal, and I've never really felt normal in my life. The best experience ever. If I feel like this when I go back home, my life is going to be so different. I've got a mosquito spray. I've got a mosquito roll-on. I've even got a plug-in. See you later, Mum. Off neck. OK. Leaving cold England. Six plus-size Brits this is very heavy. are about to embark on a holiday free from prejudice. A bit nervous in case I can't get in the seats in the plane. Fingers crossed. I just hope the flight goes well. <laughs> I try, I'm going to try and sleep. <laughs> the only problem is I snore. <laughs> They're travelling to the Caribbean island of Antigua, where a plus-size paradise awaits. Everyone can holiday here without fear, because everyone has the same issues and the same worries. I want them to start trying new things and start realising they are capable of so much more than they give themselves credit for. Amazing. Beautiful. That's a bit warm. I've never wanted to see air conditioning so much. <laughs> OK. Let's go. Oh, look at all of that ocean with nothing else in it. It's amazing. I have bought so many shorts and crop tops because you guys aren't going to judge me. No, not like, at all. Because we're, we're all the same. Yeah. We're away. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to get in that water. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at all the sailor boats on there. You see the pelicans on the end of the post on the jetty there. Oh, why oh, is there so Oh! <laughs> oh my Christ. Oh, you're so pretty. I might cry. Yeah, that's incredibly solid. That's not going anywhere. Normal hotels usually have the plastic sun lounges. And uh, I sat on one and uh, it proceeded to explode underneath me. <laughs> so I didn't go one for the rest of the week. I'm 38 and a half stone currently and I'm around six foot seven, maybe just a touch over. I feel a mixture of angry that I've let myself get this heavy, um, a bit ashamed and embarrassed. No, at the moment I am in no relationship. I would never, ever, ever go up to a woman and chat her up because I would just assume that I would get uh, rejected at the first hurdle because I'm ugly. Yeah. I just love just for once not to have to just not to look in a mirror and just see disgusting blob. I've never stayed that close to the beach before. That's great. Hello. Hi. Is a rum punch for you? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Here's to a good week, guys. Nice to meet you all. Cheers. Welcome, guests. Everything we do here at the resort is designed to improve your body confidence and your self-esteem. I really, really want you to embrace every single activity, challenge, anything that's put on for you, because you will benefit from everything. They won't always be easy, but use us wherever you can because we're here to support you. Well, that's lovely. Yes, thank you. It's exciting, isn't it? The Los 
time I wore the bikini, I got a lot of abuse on holiday. So I was really like hesitant to bring it with me. Basically, my ex said to me, you're not actually gonna wear that in public. And then people telling me I look disgusting and I was putting them off their food. So I, yeah, I don't really wear it very often. This looks nice. It's lovely. It's good. Hey, hey John, you OK? Yeah, it was right, a, all right. How are you doing? All right. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it's nice. gorgeous up here. Good. Like a nice and comfy. Yeah. It's just nice to feel that people around you are not all whispering and chatting. Yeah. yeah. Behind the hands when they're not really like whispering, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It makes you relax more, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Like, naturally relax. Nothing in the back of your head thinking, oh, God, what are people thinking? Yeah, you don't feel like you're on show, do you? No. No. As it were. I describe my body as uh, disgusting. I hate it. I hate everything about my body. I worry about Ginny more than myself, but deep down, we've, we've both got the same insecurities, and especially when it's obvious that people are commenting or looking at us. I remember being out in a pub one night, and I was having a conversation with a man who was in the pub at the same time, and I was like, I'm really hot. And he was like, it's because, well, it's because you're a fat pig. Maybe just want to kind of like go home and leave that night from, from the pub. But that upsets me to know that Jin is suffering. And that breaks my heart. I'm hoping for my wife, Ginny especially, that our confidence levels will increase so much about our physical condition that we will have a more active life. Now, are we jumping or are we going to enter oh, no. gracefully? <laughs> I don't do anything gracefully. Right. Well, I don't, <laughs> but I thought it might be the best option. See, once you're in the water, you're no longer fat. You're just a head right above the surface. Exactly. Can everybody swim? I mean, yeah. you know, I mean rather than just stand in the back, everybody actually swim. Yeah. yeah. I'm just swimming either. Can you not? Oh, dear. All right, all right. We'll take the noodle for you. You'll be fine. Okay. Or you can have me donut. I don't mind. I'll share. Is it you don't like to swim, or you just don't swim? I can't swim. You can't swim? No. I know it restricts me an awful lot, because yeah. I would like to go swimming with my grandchildren and things. The thing is, I've never seen a palm tree in real life. Have you not? I've never ever seen a palm tree in real life. Well, there's a <laughs> there's a day for everything. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. So tonight, I've asked the guests to bring a letter which they have written themselves at home some of the things in these letters they have never even told their families. So it's really, really hard for them to open up to strangers. But it's only when we know exactly what the issues are that we can start to help them move forward. Rosie, would you like to read your letter out, please? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. I have had more than my fair share of abuse and ridicule from people whether it's in person or via social media. A girl I knew while I was at uni would like to take videos of me dancing in a club, share on social media, saying how fat and disgusting I am. I've had men tell me that I should feel lucky that they could make themselves sleep with me. These comments are so hurtful and make you doubt your own self-worth. I know how difficult this is. Thank you so much for sharing. When I was much younger, my dad, whom I loved dearly, he would often, very often, berate me about my weight when he was the worst, the worst for wear of for drink. Am I going to cry? That's OK. That's OK. Stupid. No, it's not oh, stupid. It <laughs> oh. You've got to learn something right now, Cathy, that you and every single one of you are good enough. Uh, I once heard somebody say once on TV, there's no greater sin in today's society when it comes to dating than being ugly. And it's hard to argue with when you look at the evidence. Uh, I rarely look in the mirror unless I have to. On the very rare occasion I do look at myself, I just see a very fat, disgusting person that I don't like the look of. You are not disgusting. Right? I don't want to hear you saying that. OK. OK? Right through one degree or another, we've all been through the same thing. 
and everyone's like, oh, yeah, I understand, but you don't. They and don't you understand. physically cannot understand they about don't. how much you can end up hating yourself. Jenny, would you like to go next, please? Paul and I married in 2012 in a beautiful chapel in Florida. We decided to get married abroad because I had such a fear of walking down the aisle and everyone turning around to look at me and judging me in this big white dress that would just make me look bigger than I was. We look at the pictures now and we feel sad that our weight had once again affected an important life event for us. We missed our families being there with us and I feel embarrassed when I show people our wedding photos. Thank you so much. Paul, would you mind me doing your letter? Of course, please? thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Paul. I'm 54 years old and I've been battling my food addiction since my 20s. With regards to my beautiful wife, Ginny. You right, Anna? Take your time. I know... I know, I know her weight affects her and her and how she feels. She's so worried about people and their opinions of her, the looks and the whispers which knock her confidence so much. And it hurts me to see her suffer. <sighs> I just want to focus on helping myself and Ginny live our best lives to the full. You're such an amazing couple, <laughs> honestly. I get that. Yes, you will. Every single day that you're here, there's going to be things that are hard, but you guys are all going to go home different people. I promise you. I thought, I'm going to need a hat if I'm going to be out in the sun. And I found the one with the biggest brim that I could possibly find. And it's still creased because I've only managed to wear it a little bit. But this conceivably should roll up. And then I've got full coverage on my back, which was really the most important part to keep the sun off of me. worst weather we've had for over 20 years in Antigua, so it's not game over. We've got plenty to do, but we just need to rejig things around and have a rethink about what the guests really do need. I'd like to feel more positive about my sort of weight, and I'd also like to increase my own body confidence. I've got my own martial arts academies, and I teach anybody really from 4 to 74. For my business, what I do as well, I don't present a good image, I'm aware of that. When everybody else there is, is like thin and lithe, I'm sick of looking like a look. I'm a five being on the front in Bridlington. Look warmer, there's more power to it. With the rain making any outdoor activity impossible, David's organised something very different for some of the guests. Guys, so today I've arranged to get you taking part in some salsa classes. <laughs> salsa is about you guys giving stuff a shot, having fun. And John, for you, I know a big part of it is the fact that if you could meet someone in your personal life, that would be such a bonus. This is completely out of your comfort zone. How are you feeling about this? Honestly, <laughs> don't dance. No? Ever. What's the closest you've got to salsa? Nothing. Never danced. No? Never got to dance, ever. Why? Um, because people don't, you know, don't like to do things I'm not very good at and stand out and uh, it's just something I don't enjoy normally. Alison, if you want to explain just the basics of salsa. Yes. I want the guests to try activities they have never dreamt of doing before 
I want them to really embrace situations for the first time and ultimately really come out of their shell and believe they can do anything they want. You're gonna use left foot going up to the side. We're gonna go seven, eight, and one, and two. Ball change. Step, step, step. John, is there an element to this that is similar to the controlled martial arts? No. No? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna be honest, no, not at all. There's no Nothing transferable whatsoever. Anybody wanna kill me yet? Yes. Pray to God I don't step on yours because you won't be doing anything else for a week. <laughs> hey, my man. All right. I've thrown you in the deep end, I'm not with this. I was better with this, he could have done his dancing, yeah. You know, you, you know, the, and you know you're a clever man. This isn't about the dance. No, I know, it's not, I know. I have to start breaking you out of the places that you feel more comfortable in, which is, you yeah. know, the martial arts studio at mm -hmm. home. And this is as far outside of your comfort zone as it gets, right? Pretty much, yeah. John, back in the UK, he is stuck in his ways. He's the first to admit that. This is a big ask. Do a salsa class. It's about him just giving stuff a go and make him realise that these are positive ways forward if he really wants to get out and meet people back home. On another part of the island, Ginny and Paul are also about to try something new. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ginny. Welcome. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Ross. Welcome to Thank Shanty you. Chef. We are going to be doing some couples yoga. <laughs> right. Uh, have you ever done some yoga before? No. no. We're not going to be able to balance. OK, no. well, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to just move a little bit together, breathe a little bit together, and most importantly, to take something with you. OK. Come with me. Perfect. Follow me. Let's go. OK. Thank you. Make sure that your, the backs of your hearts are touching towards each other. That's it. Perfect. Just take a beautiful, deep inhale. Fill the breath. And then exhale. Feel the dissolve. Just feel any tension that you have around this being released and letting go. How does it feel? Yeah, good. Yeah, it feels nice, nice yeah, right? I like it. Okay. <laughs> good. So we're going to take a deep inhale and stretch all the way up together with me. And then we're gonna hold it and exhale, come all the way down. So beautiful. Lifting and now this couple's connection is quite powerful. I think it's important for them both that they really do have to stretch out of this comfort zone because they're, they are far too comfortable in their own little lives. And that's part of the reason that they're here. Bring the front hand down. I have suffered quite a long time with a lack of self-confidence. I look in the mirror and I just hate what I see coming back at me. My body's quite disproportionate. If I could change it, if I could chop it off myself, especially this tummy, I would chop it tomorrow. Without bending your knees, you're going to stretch towards each other. Paul, naturally, as a husband, wants to protect me and cushion me from things that might happen around me that might cause me anxiety or stress. And I'd like him to let go and, and push me out of my comfort zone to deal with things myself. So you're both taking your left kidney and juicing it into your midline and exhale, beautiful twist. I think the only time I've ever heard of juice in my kidneys was uh, in my nightclubbing days. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, one, two, tap, tap, back, two, to the Just side, two. one, five, slow, seven, eight. We go up and over, bring it in, up and over, bring it in, no, yes, okay, bring it in. Let's John, you have got it one. much better bring than me in. already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got it. Hello, Dango. Hello, Dango. Hi. 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 Hi.
It was, it wasn't actually anywhere near as bad as I thought. If I can do this, which I was probably one of the sort of most scary things to try, then maybe I can do other things as well. Before I came here, if someone said to me, how about going to a dance class and meeting somebody, I'd have, I'd have laughed long and sort of bitterly in their face. Um, but now it's, uh, it's of it being a complete impossibility and a shutdown, no, it's now a, um, yeah, maybe, yeah. The trouble is with Ginny and Paul is they kill each other with kindness, they really do, and they need to start breaking away. So I've brought them to this beach, it is a public beach, people can come and go as they please, but I've got a challenge coming up which will make Ginny do it for herself without Paul's help, because I feel she does lean on him for support quite heavily. <laughs> Guys! No! Oh. <laughs> Great job so far. Who's your friend? <laughs> Ginny, I want you to take control of the situation without Paul's help on this occasion, OK? okay. I want you to get this in the water, get into the kayak, okay. go up and back down. Okay. okay? I got you, I got you. Yes, Jimmy. She's away. I'm amazed that she's just switched off from all the issues that she might have had in her head previously and just got on with it. I'm so proud of her. Look, I'd never dream it. Look, she's almost halfway across the bay in a kayak. Just showing off now. Okay, we'll keep you in here for a second. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> it was really amazing. Good to be free out there and do it. First time I've ever kayaked on my own properly. It's quite, well, it's quite good at it. <sighs> Normally I would be like, oh, hold the kayak for me and you do the rowing and make sure we don't fall off. So. It was fab to feel going to do that all by myself without his assistance. Me being me, I almost sort of jumped to try and help her out the boat at the end and have to perhaps more do that more often where I step back and let her carry on being brave and do her own thing and she's more than capable of doing it. She doesn't need me to do stuff for her and I just feel like I should do it but I know she's capable so I should step back and let her carry on really. John needs to change the way he is thinking. He is constantly holding onto so much negativity, self-loathing. It always seems to consume and think about all the time. And I want him to let it all go. Okay, John, I want you to get into that water and just swim out. And as you're actually swimming out, I want you to drop all the negativity. Okay. With every stroke of your swimming, yeah. you're going to drop some of that negativity into the ocean. Right. OK? Yeah, I can try that. Yeah, I'll do that. that people have said or how you're feeling, 
everything, just let it out. How are you feeling, John? I've never swum in the rain before. It's just, it's no worse. This is good. Good. Oh. I don't know. There's some, some moments in your life that sort of so important. I think this might be one. I've got to say I was a bit sceptical. Because uh, I don't generally tend to show a lot of emotion. No, that's because of my job. Sort of internalise it a lot. When she said to turn around and dump all your negative energy, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. Sounds a bit like a bit of flannel, but it kind of worked. I don't know how to describe it. It was almost a bit like being hypnotised. We sort of turned around and went, boom, and it's just, it was almost like um, I dropped two stone in weight and lost 10 years. It was really strange, the most bizarre thing. You've done amazing to me. Are you sure? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That was great. So refreshing. It is. Good. Yeah. Ladies, Hi. how are you all? Very good, thank good. you. Good Listen, well. today we have this beautiful Caribbean weather back. Yes. Finally, first time I've seen all your sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> so I've laid on a little bit of a special treat for you. This week we've been doing lots of emotional stuff and what I'd like to do is kind of put that emotional energy but into a physical activity. So I've arranged for you girls today to spend some time with some amazing horses. <gasps> Spending time with horses, brushing them, grooming them, walking them in the sea, can release endorphins, make you relax, make you unwind, and basically get you to a place where you feel really, really happy. For one of the group, today's trip is particularly significant. Forgive me if I get emotional. One of the th favourite things as a kid was being around horses. I have always been fat. You know, from probably around the age of five or six, I've always been big. So I have had a very hard relationship with my body. I've hated myself for a long time. Sometimes I put something on and I'm like, I am absolutely disgusting and I don't want to leave the house. Morning. Hello, ladies. Hello. Lovely to meet you all. I'm Susie and I've got my two helpers over here. Earl and Kent, they'll be, they'll be helping us as well. Well, let's go see Gandalf, shall we? Normally, I would never do something where I can make a spectacle of myself and people will laugh at me. Because I'm not confident, because of the, the abuse you get, I won't do anything. When, when were you last yeah, with horses? Um, oh, I used to go and visit my friend's horses a little bit, but the last time I've been anywhere near horses, really, I was about 12. I'm just worried about my weight and hurting the horses because obviously I know, I know, you know, spines well, and things. Well, they're quite strong. In the water, you're more buoyant. Yeah. And the horses are quite strong. Yeah. And if we just sort of float the one in the water, I think it'll yeah. be, um, it'll be fine. Go, Rosie. Like, I've not been able to do it in so long. And like, obviously I'm just always really worried about my weight hurting the horses because I obviously wouldn't want to do that. But in, in, in the sea, matter, in the sea, you're, you're weightless. Yeah. So 
for me, this is a big thing. This is something I've wanted to do for so long. And you've done it. And I haven't been able to, so. Oh, it's lovely. Amazing, isn't it? I just need to be more accepting that, yes, I am fat. And everyone knows I'm fat. You can clearly see that I am fat. I just need to learn not to hate it so much because it's just who I am. It's part of me, but it's not all of me. It was about five years ago when I had one on, when I wore a bikini. And this is a swimsuit, which I've never had on yet. Big, huge, and uh, not very pleasant to look at. That's how I would describe my body. I could be walking past a shop window and think, oh God, is that really me? Like, oh my God, how horrid. Because of my weight, I've never had the confidence to take swimming lessons. And it may seem quite a minor thing to people, but to myself, the thought of going into a, either a public swimming pool and it's a male instructor, you know, and me in a swimsuit, I just, I just dread the thought. Hey, don't you think ahead, young lady. Come and... Put the bag down here. As a plus-size person, I know what it's like. Yeah. When you think, what am I going to wear? Are people going to be looking at me? What about if I can't get in and out and stuff like that? And you know what? There's no one here. I actually would like to be able to swim to take my grandchildren swimming. Or my great granddaughter. <laughs> She's only six. <laughs> so to be able to go to the swimming pool with her would be great. Yeah. Should we give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. I'll get in first, I promise you that. Okay. All right. So get yourself ready. Okay. I've got you. Aha. <laughs> right. <laughs> you said it was warm. <laughs> You've done it. Right, so that's the, that's the hardest bit done so far, right? We're in. OK, you're going to take the pink. <laughs> oh, no! I can't I've got one. Let's <laughs> grab you another noodle. OK, right, so you've got me, you've got two floats. So what I want you to do now, I've got you, is so lift your feet up. Mm. You're floating! <laughs> You're floating, Gabby! Woo! Oh, got you? <laughs> I'm falling! <laughs> <laughs> For now, just kneel down, that's it. Both legs up. Woo. There we are! <laughs> At any point have you thought about how you're looking? Or what people no. would think? No, no. Why not? Because I'm enjoying myself and I'm just really trying to get into it and I'm trusting you. <laughs> The biggest problem is me in my head. So I can see that slowly diminishing now. This has proven to me that I'm capable of so much more. You just need a cocktail and a pool boy. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, good thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Well, I hear you had a fantastic breakthrough yesterday, Paul. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Had your... yeah, yeah well good. done, you. Enjoyed ourselves, didn't we, yeah. for a good hour or so? Good. So, Jenny, your body worries. Tell me, Jenny, why has it been a problem for you? Why have you, you find it quite difficult? Yeah, it's always Is about it... my size. Yeah, it's always about, you know, what they're thinking about the size of me, the clothes I'm wearing and how they look on me, how red my face has gone and is, has my face gone red and I've gone hot because I'm so big and I think it just stems back from comments just about my size or I felt uncomfortable about my size in other situations. So tonight we're going to have a little party. Okay. There's going to be lots of people there mm -hmm. and I would love you to stand up and give a speech. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd okay. be great. Just want to push you that little bit further. Okay. And it will help build your confidence. Okay.
Down on the beach, the party's just getting started. Tonight, all I know is that we're having a bit of a party with some drinks, apparently. We don't really know a lot. I know that some people are coming in, but I don't know who they are. Clean T-shirt, brand new. That's oh, not terrible. Mm-hmm. OK, yes, could be worse. Not too bad. I'm nervous, and I started making all kind of plans and mind mapping and getting all stressed and anxious, and then I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to speak from the heart. Just go for it. When they finally join the festivities, it's clear there are some nerves within the group. We are all very uncomfortable, very outside their comfort zone, really, really reserved. You would think there's a thousand people out there. They are really, really freaking out. I think I'd have been prepared for that many people. It might have been better, but it wasn't. I didn't think it was going to get anywhere near that many people. There's always an element to this process where Mel and I worry that we've pushed people too far. With Ginny, I'm not sure. I hope we haven't. I hope she hangs on to what she's learned. You just never know. <laughs> While the party continues, David hasn't given up on helping Ginny conquer her fears. These people here, I don't know who they are, any of them. I don't know what relation they've got even to this process. It's too much of a surprise, I think. That's the big issue. Okay. Too much of a. Yeah. Well, I've done so much so far. I've stepped so far out of my comfort zone this week, but that's. Do you want me to just leave it in there? Yeah. And it's, that, that's Fantastic. not going to help me. I think yeah. what I don't want you to do is get to the end and go, bugger, I wish I did it. No. What it might be is we might be able to arrange it so it's just us lot, away from everyone. Yeah. So there might be versions of the way we can do it, yeah? If it was just us, all the staff, yeah. I'll do it. Ginny, you've got this. Got it. Woo! We believe in you. We're excited. We're very excited. Yeah. Excited? Yes. yes. Hi, guys. Um, I just wanted to come and say that it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you guys and getting to know you. It's made me realise that I'm not on my own anymore in my battles and I'm not the only person to feel the way that I have been feeling. We're not any less than any other people out there. We don't deserve to be treated any less than other people out there. So I just want to say thank you very much and love you all loads. You did amazing. Well done, you. Amazing. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Mm. Okay, I'm so proud of you. I'm really proud of myself, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of myself that I got back and did that because, you know, at the beginning of the night, as you know, I was not speaking to anybody. I made my mind up. I was not speaking to anybody. Um, and then I thought, no, you know, these guys deserve to hear what I had to say. <laughs> Ginny's not the only one tonight whose confidence is on the rise. Thank you. Welcome to Antigua. Hi. Hi. Well, Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'm first time here? Yeah, and, first time in Antigua, yeah. And guess what? Are you loving it? Yeah. I love the island. It's, uh, so, yes. it's so, so lush and green. So we'll see you back again? I'd love to come back, yeah. Are you sure? You have a baby face. Thank you. Yes, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's been said before. How old? How old do you think I am? So, um, I'll think... give you 45. Close. Uh, 47. Oh, really? not, not, bad, not, bad, not, bad, not bad at all, that. Feel free to say how lovely we are. Indeed. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking that it's jewelry very glamorous. Yeah, when Incredible. You see it, it's like that was fantastic. The atmosphere was great. Yeah, they were really nice. Yeah, great. Everybody's been really nice. Though. Usually I'll sit in the car and stay there. Whereas I told people I didn't know. That's good. I feel like there's definitely been a change. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. 
Let me just start off by saying how proud I am of each and every single one of you. So, David. We've got a little surprise for you guys. <gasps> the final activity. We're taking all six of you to one of the most stunning beaches on the whole island. And let's go out with a huge, huge bang. All right? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. We'll be there. Yeah. And there's a few drinks as well. Much Woo. deserved. You should have started with that bit. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Pretty spectacular, yeah, right? It's quite a beach. Well, look at that. Wow. Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Mel and David have planned something special for some of the group. I can't play volleyball. You'd Never played fine. volleyball in my life. It's good fun. It's just keep you up here. Keep you up with your hands. If you can't hit it right over, you hit it up so the next guy next to you can hit it over. Come on, guys! Okay. <laughs> I'm really proud of Jenny and how she's dealt with things because I tend to sort of want to safeguard her all the time. But um, she's, you know, pushed me aside almost to say, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be out in front on my own and do my thing. Amazing. Go on, Ali. Come on, chick. Hold. Awesome. Go on, girls. Go on, girls. Yeah! I feel much more positive about being able to go out, you know, as I am, unapologetically me. Well, the sarong was getting in my way. It had to go away. Come on, Rosie! Go away, Paul! Woo! Yes! Hey, sorry! So close. This experience has definitely changed me, and I've learned a lot about myself. I am worthy. I am loved. I'm totally rebranding myself because I've learned what I could be capable of. I've done things I've never done before, I would never consider doing. The body image coaching has been tough, you know, um, but it needed doing, you know. Any, anything, anything, that's, anything that's worthwhile usually is usually hard. Ginny has a final surprise for Paul. Hello. You look phenomenal. Thank you. Give me a kiss. So, had the most fantastic experience with you in Antigua. I think we've learned so much about ourselves and us as a couple. Um, the one thing that we can't change about the past is our wedding day in Florida. Yeah. So, let's make a pact that when we get home, we set a date to renew our vows with all our family and friends there and change those photos. Are you okay to do um, that? I'm in shock, but let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. Give me a kiss.